Happy September. It is officially cozy season. I know it's not autumn yet, but it's starting to feel like cozy. Like, I love summer. Like I love the, the long daylight, the warm evenings of summer. I think that's the only thing I'm going to miss about summer, like long daylight. But I'm not a summer person. Like I love summer when I'm on holiday, but when I'm on day-to-day -day life, like I cannot stand the heat um, i've always been like an autumn girly so yeah i'm just excited for cozy season more cozier vlogs like the crisp mornings the leaves turn orange hot drink you know have a blanket watch cozy movies you know when it's rainy outside it's just cozy inside autumn fashion like autumn fashion by far i feel like i personally think like autumn fashion is just so chic like the boots the leather the jackets the coats autumn is just such a fashionable season like it's not too cold yet not too hot it's just like the perfect coziness the list could go on and um, today's plan is i know there's autumn bits already out in the high street so i do want to go tk maxx home section i love browsing around the candles you guys know i love lighting up candles there they actually did bring out autumn candles like around august so i hope there is stuck still some nice ones left so i'm gonna take you guys there and probably do some window shopping see what fashion pieces they have in like h&m new look um do some window shopping around there um so i'm just gonna finish my tea i've already done my makeup so i'm just gonna get changed in some comfy outfit um also so i never thought i'd say this but i finally own some uggs i know these are like the classic ones i got the one with the platform um but i was that girl that was like no i am not wearing uggs because they are the most unpractical or impractical shoes obviously you have to take good care of them you can't wear them when it's raining i think i've been eyeing uggs for the past three years like every year goes by and i'm like shall i get it shall i not i don't really own that many comfy shoes like probably two two pairs of trainers i only own two pairs of trainers third one is for gym so i don't include that but the two pairs i only wear them when it's not raining and then the other comfy pair i own is loafers um i actually lost them so i need to find my loafers um and then obviously there's the and i love the platform i feel like they last longer i feel like the ones without the platform they kind of wear off easily whereas the ones with the platform they just sort of hold structure a bit longer so that's why i wanted to get the platform but i also personally like the look of the platform ones and yeah i literally put these on the other day to try it on and yeah now i realize like how comfy these are like, yeah i've been missing out but i'm so glad i finally got a pair of uggs i don't care if these are not in season this year these are like the classic ones so from TK Maxx so obviously I've bounced around the home section I love like I love the autumn section in TK Maxx um, so I only got these candles I got this I just found this one so pretty look at the packaging like how pretty is that it just looks so pretty and then I got this one as well cute this one is like a two week candle it smells like I don't know like fresh garden like you know when you go for a walk that fresh air sort of smell very nice 
whereas this is like this has such an autumnal scent it's just pumpkin like every time i sniff this it just reminds me of autumn it just gives that sort of cozy vibe um and i just love how cute this looks but yeah i got these two and uh this one my hubby actually ordered yeah she gets this every year it's like a woodwick candle on amazon you can order it and it's like our favorite candle because it just like it gives that cracking noise like the fireplace it looks like this so when you light up it just like gives it's like a mini fireplace and it sounds like a little fireplace so it's really cute i love we love lighting this up during this time of year it's just so cute and cozy and again it smells amazing this one is vanilla bean and i just love the smell of this so good so yeah i just can't wait to light these up and then clothes wise i didn't find anything but i did do like a asos order i did find some cute coats online and um, so once that comes i'll show you guys like the coats that i got um so today's plan i want to bake i feel like this is a season where you bake like a lot of cinnamony apple stuff i want to bake something autumnal like cinnamony i was thinking whether to make apple crumble cake which every time i make it like it's just like everyone loves it like i've based like one of my favorite cakes to make in that with custard or i was thinking to make a cinnamon bun so last time i made it didn't go well so obviously i didn't buy the proper ingredients so this time I have proper ingredients to make cinnamon bun and hopefully it turns out nice. smells like brown sugar cinnamon it smells so cozy right now i put the timer for 15 minutes but i think i should have taken that maybe two minutes earlier but yeah very happy i'm excited i think now it's time for the most important part which is a taste test so very excited to try this out
basically this weekend I was away. I was away for my hubby's friend's 30th. They say they booked like an Airbnb. I think there was like 9 or 10 of us. Such a nice weekend away. Um, we had so much fun. So we just got back and literally just straight away unpacked, put everything in the laundry. Um, and yeah, so I'm in my PJs right now. Um, but yeah, that's like an update from the last time I vlogged. Which I'm going to show you guys my TBR list. So I'm not a huge book reader, I am like a casual reader, like I read whenever, you know, I can and like I'll probably just get through like two books in a month, which for me is quite a lot for someone who, actually I was always like a non-fiction reader, I was always a self-help reader so I'd get through like audiobooks, but um, for fiction, I'm, it's pretty good for me for a fiction reader now. I've read this for two days. This is currently what I'm reading actually. It's called The Housemaid by Frida McFadden. And oh my goodness, I cannot put this book down. Like each chapter, every chapter of this. I read this for two days and I'm like halfway. It's really quick and easy book. If you love a good thriller, like I highly recommend um, this one. It's really good. This is like, I think there's like a few versions of this line. Um, but this is like the first version of it, um, but yeah, so good. Um, the other fiction one is this one. So I think this is like a small town romance. I don't know, I, I don't remember. Um, I mean like romance is my go-to sort of uh, book genre. Um, so yeah, I'm excited to read that. This one it says it's like addictive enemies to lovers kind of romance. Basically it's like vampires, enemies to love, enemies to lovers sort of romance. Um, it's like dark, I think, so I'm really excited. It's called The Serpent and the Wings of the Night. So this is what it is. And this one is a, not a fiction one. It, I saw it in someone's story and I just had to read it. Basically, it's called The Mind Gut Connection. I'm really intrigued to kind of read this book. It kind of tells you how your mind has such an impact on the way the health of your body and everything, like the mind gut connection, like, like digestive disorders, disorders, obesity, depression, anxiety fatigue all of that it's everything is linked to the mind so i'm really excited to read this book so very interested to read this like you guys know i do like switching between fiction and like self-help sort of non-fiction books so yeah these are the books that i have on my list again this one i'm excited to finish this and i'll update you all but i highly recommend if you enjoy thriller i don't know how it's going to end but I'm really interested to see how this one ends. I am going to cook dinner and recently we went to this restaurant. It was like um Asian restaurant and they I ordered this Thai red curry noodle soup. Like I've had Thai red uh, Thai curry with um rice before but Thai red curry with like a noodle in a soup form. It was such a good comfort meal like I was thinking about that and I was like, I want to try and recreate that. So yeah, it's just like the perfect sort of meal for like cold weather. So yeah, that's what I'm going to cook for dinner. Like I was thinking whether to do it with tofu, chicken or prawn. Um, I asked my hubby and he picked up prawn. So I'm going to cook that today for dinner. <laughs> This is like truly in a hmm? proper authentic Thai flavors. No? Like you've done it really well. The chili. Well done. Not too spicy. I was worried it would be too spicy. Ah. Come on, we, we can handle that spice now. Yeah. No, my first time making it. And I know that if I liked it then your one's going to be 10 times better. Mm. <laughs> 